civilians. Here we go. So, the role of civilians is to automate tasks for you. Raid and tasks to be more specific. At least to start with anyway. So, the first three we have are the Aether Reckoner, which automatically dispenses Aether for you. The Sidroid Technician, who automatically charges your Sidroids. And the third, the one I'm most excited for, is the Raid Commander, who will automatically send your Sidroids out to Raid. But, before they can do any of that, they need to be synthesized. Up to three civilians per property of four tiles or more, one of each kind. Now we have two ways of getting to the properties we want to synthesize civilians on. We have the raid management from the main menu. Once in here we have tabs for civilians and properties. To start adding civilians to your properties you want to come into the properties tab and you can either just flick through the list, find the properties to build on, or you can use the search option to find specific ones. Once you've found one, clicking on the property will give you the option to synthesize civilians for it. Click on this to open a secondary menu where you can start the process. Now, civilians are built in a set order. That being the Aether Reckoner, then the Side Road Technician, and finally the Raid Commander. To get started, you want to click the up button to add civilians, noticing they're selecting below. Then click the synthesize button for another pop-up confirmation. Here you will be given the total cost and how long it will take. So here, for three civilians, we have a cost of 75 ether, or 25 per civilian. 12 red energy at 4 per civilian, and a total of 3 days. Although they are produced one every 24 hours, so you don't need to wait the full three days for your first civilians to spawn. Clicking the confirm button will start the process. Now, the way I personally prefer to interact with them is from the raid menu. If we come over here, we can sort out properties in the same way we would for raiding and know exactly which ones we want to build on. I prefer this way, as in here, we can check if we have multiple favourites set up for the civilians to raid or if it's an area we would prefer not to have civilians on. Now, once we've found a property we want to build civilians on, and confirmed we have some good raid targets, you can click the little civilian icon to open the raid management for just that property. Here, again, it's the same process as earlier. Click in the property, and then click in synthesis to open that menu, and here you can select the number of civilians you want to spawn and confirm. Unfortunately, you do have to left click the civilian icon to have it open the raid management for just that one property. Opening it in a new tab does open it for all properties. Hopefully that's something they can address later as it really interrupts the flow when you're trying to work through a list. Ideally even having the raid management screen open as a pop-up within the raid menu screen would be a grand addition too. Wink wink nudge nudge Shane. Now before you go too crazy and just spawn civilians everywhere, Please note, they do cost 4 red energy units per week per civilian. So ideally, try to only produce civilians on plots which will essentially pay for themselves. Plots which will gather at least 12 ether per week, as each unit of ether dispensed grants you 1 unit of red energy. If you don't have enough red energy for your civilians, they will down tools and stop working. Now, once you have your civilians, their skills are turned on by default, so you might notice they start auto-charging, dispensing and waiting for you. But let's take a little bit of a look at exactly how that works and the options you have. To see your civilians, again, you can access them via the menu for a long list of all the civilians, or again, the way I prefer seeing them for a specific property from the raid menu. Open this and click on the property to show the civilians. Then click on a civilian will open the details and the options for it. Firstly, we have the ether dispenser. Here you have the information and on top you have the ability menu. Click on this will give you the option to turn the auto dispense skill off or on, but you do also have the option to set it to dispense full or contains any amount of ether. I personally would have it turned on and set to full, at least for now, until your civilian levels up, 
as the lower the level, the longer the civilian takes to start that automation. As in there's a delay when your side roads will sit and be doing nothing. This starts at 2 hours for level 1 civilians and goes all the way down to 5 minutes for level 6 civilians. And this is true for all three types of civilians. Next we have the technician or auto charger. This one I personally think is a little redundant in the early stages as your side road battery lasts around 3 days without being charged at all. But if this guy is turned on you're going to be charging every single time it returns from a raid. But you're also going to have that delay of up to 2 hours before it even starts charging. So unless you want to be 100% hands off with raiding, I would suggest having these guys all turned off and just popping on yourself every now and again to charge your side roads. I, I personally wouldn't turn this skill on until either the levels are higher so there's less of delay on them or if E2 gives us an option to set what percent we would like them to automatically charge them at. Lastly we have the raid commander, probably the most complex of the three. In his ability tab you will see the option to have auto raid on or off. Now if you don't know how auto raiding works it uses the properties you have set as your favourite to raid. You do also have to have manually raided that property at least once yourself too. These are the icons you set from the property list in the raid menu. There's multiple ones you can set where you can set them all the same depending on how you want to play. You can also customise these to have your raid commander only target properties you've set certain targets on if you wish to. You can do this by clicking new auto raid and edit. And here you can add in the icons you want him to raid and leave out the ones you don't. You can also edit this directly from the raid menu too, just above the property lists. To begin with, the raid commander can only target one property over and over again. However, this goes up by one property with each level your raid commander gains until level 6 when this becomes an infinite number of properties. Yes, infinite. Now hopefully you understand the basics of raiding, but let me know if you have any questions, concerns or even spotted anything that I've missed in the comments down below. As always, thanks for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe, now go get that ether. Peace out.